at ease, soldiers. Sergeant Fury here. Hope my microphone's working, man. Shit, I gotta get a new one. Want to give you a quick update on Scum and the patch that just came out today. Now it was 1.5 gigs for me. Somebody else put 5.5, but I'm not sure how he could have had a patch that large. Unless he hasn't patched his game in a while or something, I don't know. But anyways, the major thing is they're changing more the anti-cheat system for all of you who play a lot of the multiplayer, uh, player versus player. And part of that improvement for latency and lag and stuff is a ping lock. So if you're pinging higher than 225, you're not going to be able to play on that server. You'll get kicked if you're on an official server. And that's actually good news because on, if you don't know this, when people have really high pings, they cause latency because what they're doing, or they cause desync because what they're doing is the server's trying to feed them the data at, and because they're at a higher ping rate, it starts effing everything up because you guys are pinging less or pinging more, but the game's trying to keep everybody in sync, right? That means all the characters, the map, everything that's in what causes it causes desync. So that's actually a good thing. Now the blueprint system, they're going to introduce a new blueprint system for crafting. And they did a small rework in the crafting system for the blueprints. Most items that have a usage, once you decide where you want to put the blueprint, you get something like this. Right? And at that point, it'll say, what do you need? 30 units of ropes. Little box show each possible item that can be used for that component. For the shelter, you need 30 units of ropes. Item can be used are blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm not going to go into this very specifically because I'm actually doing it in the game. But you can combine them any way you want, which is nice. So it just tells you a whole total of what you need. You need 10 units of rope, 5 of wire, 5 of improvised, 3 of thread, 7 of improvised. As long as you get 30 units, you're good to go. So that's really great. And a list of craftable blueprints at the moment will be this. And then they're going to expand those. So other than that, you still have to do it the old way. Now we are going to have cargo drops which are great and they will be shown on the map every 30 to 40 minutes one cargo drop in one sector marked on the mini map like this kicker is that what can be found in them and that will believe if you guys find out they'll self-destruct after 20 minutes okay so we're going to go look for those i'm going to do a live stream here as soon as i get to put this video up and scopes now here we are we have the P posp 4x 24v this is for your svd the ZF-39 is for the CAR-98. Hunter Scope is for your Hunter-85, which is a 22. The P-223 will fit on the SVD and AK-47. And the ACOG, ACOG, will be used on the rail with the SVD and AK-47. Now, what I did do is I posted those up on Reddit and on Steam. So if you go to either Reddit or Steam, you're going to see the um, post that I did. And I put up the uh, s scopes here for getting the scope commands for spawning them in single player. And then I also did one for the, uh, let's see what this is, what they want. Oh, okay, here's, and I also did one. Whoops, I have the wrong one. Oh, my bad. Yep, thanks, man. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That, that might help, huh? A4. Yeah, it's all good, man. Thanks. Oh, that was nice of him to do that. Yeah, I put, I put the wrong one in there. It's actually an M16A4 not an A1, but that's cool, and then, so it's over here, and then, oh, my shit, man, more than likely, I might have done it wrong on, on Reddit, too, let me go over there real quick, make sure I didn't do it wrong over here, and put an M1 over there, too, like a dumb shit, oh, yeah, we're good to go, Yeah, I might have, um, oh, here, oh, here we go, let's do it like this, good dumb shit, 
Man, I get a lot of posts up here since I put my post up. Holy crap, man. As soon as they put a patch out, man, it goes psycho crazy over here. Here we go. Yeah, sorry. I did the same thing here. Okay, well, I got the gun working. I mean, because I have it in the game, I'm going to start the game up. But yeah, this guy said the ammo box wasn't working for him, but there it is right there. There's your spawn for your ammo box, so it does work. So anyways, it's like, and you, as you know, this hasn't been updated yet. I already gave you guys a link for this. This is all the crap you can spawn in the game. Not crap, but all the items. Uh, and this guy will update it pretty soon here. Last time he updated it was uh, when he added a Desert Eagle. So it'll be a 1.5, and as soon as he does that, then he'll add the things that are, I've already added already. Because like I said, I went ahead and put the um, scopes in there and and the uh, that weapon. Yeah, so the, all these are working. So just let you guys know that. But I'm going to fire up the game. Oh, let's go over here the rest of the um, patch notes. Okay. Then we got binoculars. I haven't been able to figure out how to spawn those yet, so I'm just going to have to find them. Um, I've tried several different commands. They don't work, but of course, here's the M16A4, which I did, and there's the ammo. They've reworked all the armor, and because they're trying to get um, as realistic build ballistics as possible. So you're just going to have to come over here and check all this out on the patch notes. They are going to be here, so you'll be able to read all this. Just click on this link, and you'll hear because they get in this little distance chart with the energy and distance, and you know, it's like way, way more boring than I want to bore you with. The naval base is one. I'm going to go check this out uh, this afternoon. They said they haven't finished the underground part yet, but it's almost done, and we don't have cars yet either, unfortunately, but that's okay. And balance changes played to player damage with melee weapons. It has been changed. A rebalance kick for the AKS 74U. Muzzle velocity of 30. Caliber 1 grand change from 89,000 to 85,300. Okay. Quality of life. Human heads can be thrown now. You can play basketball. We'll go do some of that. Leather shoes have been named, renamed. 12 gauge shells. You could craft a shotgun, but you couldn't. There was no way to craft any shells. So can do that. Uh, you cannot climb onto a ladder while swimming. A lot of docks have ladders that you can't climb up. It's not possible to rotate items of mouse scroll wheel. In events, the SVD will use the POSP instead of the other one. Weapons rendering is increased, which is great. Bug fixes. Fix the bugs. You can jump from the dam and hit a small part of the water and a lower part of the dam and survive. Not anymore. Fix bow. You can fall through the rocks in the caves. Not anymore bug where a cornfield didn't spawn corn, some more landscape bugs, magnifying glass did not get used to crafting import, moving right did not cancel auto walk. My auto walk doesn't even work. I still can't get it to work. Fix the bug where you killed while scoping in <coughs> scoping you were revived with the scope overlay. Disable moving scope rail from one rifle onto the other while scoping the stats onto the rail. Okay. Fixed double clicking on closed items if you're sitting on equipping them. Fixed bug that causes thrown items to pass through prisoners that have thrown them. Oh, okay. And this is the best one, though, is the Unreal Engine. Improve client performance, faster level streaming, improve with client slowdowns, improve server. What the heck? I don't want this cat got in his mouth. One of my cats was, I don't know, was doing something weird, like spitting up, thingy like that, or had food caught in his mouth or something, the wife said. Anyways, there's all the patch notes. We'll draw them at the end. And I said, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the game. And I'll, of course, have all these, for the most part, on the post and, of course, a link to this. So you guys can go check that out. Okay, so until I see you here in a little while when I fire up the video, as always, this is Sergeant Nick Fury. 
Howdy, you soldiers.